In the last video, I talked about how you can create commits. Hopefully by now you're comfortable with commands like git init, git status, git add, git diff, and git commit. In today's video, we are going to learn a bit more about the commit history, how you can manipulate the history using commands like git checkout and git reset. So let's begin. When you created your first commit, that represents the beginning of your git history. When you created your second commit, it goes on top of your first commit, creating a linear history. Now, every time you create a new commit, it goes on top of the most recent one, creating a linear history. So every commit is related to the commit that came before it and the commit that comes after it. Now, let's learn how you can move back and forth between these different commits and go back in history in your project or or jump around different versions of your project. So you have two options to do that. The first one is to temporarily view your project at a certain point in the history. So you just want to, let's say you have the yellow theme right now and you just want to temporarily view the green theme and view how it looked without letting go of the new chain. And the second thing is you completely crap off all the changes, all the yellow theme changes and go back and reset your project's history back to the green theme. Now to be able to do that, you need to understand this concept of a head. So head is a pointer and it points to the current state of your application. Now let's say you have created five commits. So right now your head points to the fifth commit. If you've created six commits, your head points to the sixth commit. To go back and forth in history, you have to set this head pointer to a commit in the past. Now let's take the first option where you just want to temporarily view a commit. So to do that, to move the head temporarily to a certain commit, you use this command called git checkout and the commit hash. So remember that long alpha numerical string associated with each commit. So these strings are the unique identifiers. So every time you want to go back and forth in history or change the history or manipulate the history in some way, you use these hashes to do that. So when you run the command git checkout and the commit hash, you've now temporarily set the head the head pointer to this commit and if you're done viewing this commit to go back to your original state all you have to do is git checkout main now main is the name of a branch we'll cover branches in a different video but for now just memorize this command git checkout hash to go back in history and temporarily view a commit and git checkout to go back to your present version of the project one thing to note here is that I might use the branch names master and main interchangeably. Depending on your machine's settings and configuration, the default branch for your project could be either named main or master, but it means the same thing. When you do git checkout with a commit hash, the head pointer is moved in a detached state. You have exited this detached head state, which is when you have used git checkout main command. Or the second option where you want to reset your project's history or reset your project's code back to a commit in the past, the command that you need to use is git reset and the commit hash. When you use the command git reset with a commit hash, the head pointer is now actually moved to a new position that is to the commit hash that you have provided. All of the commits on top of it are now discarded as part of the history. You can also pass an optional soft or hard mode. The difference between the two is that when you use git reset soft, the branch pointer is moved back to the specified commit. All of the changes on top of that commit are still preserved. They are just uncommitted at this stage. But if you want to get rid of the changes as well as the commits on top of the specified commit, you should use git reset hard. Now it's possible to undo this action as well, but we're not going to cover that command right now. So be careful while using git reset command. All right, so let's do a quick recap of the three commands that we have learned today. The first one is git checkout commit hash. It lets you temporarily reset your project's code and all the files back to the state of a commit in the past. Git reset soft moves the head pointer, resets your current state of the project back to a commit in the past while preserving the changes made after it as uncommitted changes. And if you use git reset hard, it completely discards all of the commits and the changes made after a specified commit. 
Now I want to share one last git command before we end this tutorial which is git stash. Git stash is useful in situations where you have a certain set of changes at hand, but you don't want to commit these changes because let's say you've changed your mind, you don't want to build this feature anymore, or maybe you have ruined or introduced a bug and you feel like starting from scratch again. Now, since at this point, you don't really have a commit, going back in history or resetting the head back to the previous commit, is not really applicable because your head is still on the previous commit. You just have a certain set of changes that have not been added into a newer commit. So to get rid of these changes, git stash is used. Let's say I've created some changes and use git status to see if these changes are being tracked or not. And instead of adding and creating a commit out of it, I want to go back to my previous commit state. So to do that, I run this command git stash. Now, if you do git status again, you won't be able to see these changes anymore. So I hope you found this video helpful. That is all for today's video. In the next video, we'll explore what branches are and learn how to push your code to GitHub.